Hello and welcome to the Genesis device uh, tutorial on the snap tool used in the Far Cry 2 map editor. Uh, this tool can be used to select precise angles and snap any object together um, that is snappable. Uh, now we're going to select objects and go down to the snap tool which is a little magnet icon and in the left corner of the screen you'll see your snap angle. Uh, you can select 0 degrees, 5 degrees, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. Uh, below that you also have a snap uh, angle direction. Um, there's a bug in the system. This mostly does not work, but I'll cover how to deal with that in a moment. <clears throat> First we're going to go through uh, and just go show you the different angles you can snap here and get an idea of uh, what that'll look like for you. Uh, I've lined up some fences here and the fences uh, will start at 90 degrees for the first one. Uh, basically using the right trigger you select the object that you want to attach to the other one with the left trigger. So what I've done is selected the fence on the right with the right trigger and then selected the fence on the left with the left trigger. When you press the right button instantly it snapped into a 90 degree angle. Uh, easy way to remember which one is which is the um, left trigger is for uh, the one that is left staying in the spot. Uh, the right trigger is the one is removed and attached to the other object. Uh, there we've got 45 degree fence. Uh, nice angle there. Now here we're going to try 20. Same thing. Select the right trigger then the left trigger, right button, and it'll snap it right to it. <coughs> the more shallow the angle, of course, you get a much, much rounder, smoother uh, fence, good for roads and that kind of thing. Uh, the next angle we have here is the 10 degree angle. Same thing as the others. We've got a few more fences here so we can get a real good idea of uh, what you might do with a path or a fence line here that's following the curve of a road. Now as I was saying earlier the angle direction doesn't work most of the time. <clears throat> you have the fences all curve to the left as you can see as you make them. Now normally you could switch the angle direction and it should curve to the right. About 10% of the time I found that this actually works as intended. Um, so we're going to have to uh, basically adjust to that bug in the system so we can angle our fences or walkways the other way um, that we want. I picked this fence in particular because it's one-sided. You have the boards on one side and the metal on the other. So it's one of those objects that's not uh, the same on both sides. So we would actually have to angle it uh, separately in a different direction. So what I'm going to do is select a group of fence here using the select tool. <coughs> um, let's go over here to our edit objects and then press the B button. You go to select tool, the right trigger. We can select each section of fence individually and they'll all be bonded together in one. Now we can go back to our edit tool, right trigger and then press down on the left stick to clone, move it over to the side. Now we've got a section of fence here that we could work with bending the other direction. <clears throat> now back to our snap tool. Uh, I can just clear out this red box. <clears throat> there we go. Now if we go down and instead of selecting the fence on the right with the right trigger, we'll select the fence on the left with the right trigger and the right with the left trigger and now we see we got it bending the other direction. So basically we're just selecting the fences in the opposite order. Uh, so s since we're going that direction we'll start on the other end of the fence. <coughs> um, that way they won't be uh, moving around in an odd way. They'll connect all together. With a little practice uh, you'll get it and you'll see exactly what I was talking about there. Okay so now we've got our angle here, 5 degrees uh, section here. So what I want to do is go back to our select object tool and we can take this group of fences and attach it to another for a nice smooth S-shaped fence. Alright, here we go. Now B button back to edit. Go ahead and grab that with the right trigger. Move and rotate until it snaps to the other fence. 
All right, there we go. Nice S-shaped fence. Let's clear that down and let's take a quick little run by it and see what it looks like. I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial just covering the snap tool. We have more uh, coming soon and uh, help you with the other tools in the Far Cry 2 map editor. Uh, enjoy and happy map making.